This is how to make a laser beam in GimKit Creative. We're going to make sure you're in your game and go to where you want your laser beam. Click Add and then uh, we can click on Devices and then click in LAS and Laser Beam should pop right up. We're going to click on that. If you click on it again, you can actually change some properties of it. We're going to change its size if you want it bigger. This is the, the little white square is what makes it bigger or smaller. The green dot, you can turn it so you can make your laser beam any way you want. All right. Um, the other thing you can do is you can change the laser beam color. So maybe you want it white. Maybe it's not showing up very well on your background, so you can change whatever color you want. And it, what's nice is it shows you in the side over here what color you've chosen. I'm just going to go with white. Okay, the next thing we need to do is click Add, Close Out Devices. Oh, no, we need that. I keep doing that. Type in Life. And we want a life cycle. And we're going to put that here in the middle. Make sure there's enough space between your laser beam and the life cycle so that you can still see the beam. That will be important here in just a few minutes. Let's go back to the ad. We're going to click add. And we're going to search for repeater. R-E-P should pop it up. We want repeater. We're going to put one over here. And if you hover over it and type in the C button, it'll copy it and you can drag another one over here. Now that we have that, we're going to configure the life cycle. And we want it to be when game starts. So it's listening for that game to start. And now we're going to configure the two repeaters. So the repeater on the left, let's click on that. And I like to transmit on laser beam. We're going to change the task interval to three. And we're going to stop after receiving on a channel, but we're going to leave the channel blank. What that's telling it is to keep going until it receives on a channel, but it won't. Um, so rather than having it do a certain amount of times, it's gonna just keep doing it. And that should be it. We're going to close that. Come over here. We're going to do the same thing. Laser beam. But we're going to leave this at 5. Change this to after receiving on a channel. Leave it blank. What you could have done is just copied this after you have formatted it. Um, I just like to see them first. Next, we're going to connect the lifespan cycle to the first repeater. So we add and we come out of devices and click on wires. You have to click on the life cycle first and then that wire, we're going to connect it to the left repeater. Now, what it's going to say is when the game starts, that's when this repeater should begin. So that's the event occurs and we're going to start the repeater. We're going to do the same thing to the other one. Go to wires, connect the life cycle to the second repeater. We're going to click when event occurs, start the repeater and click out. Okay, next, this is where it's going to turn it on and off. So we're going to add another wire and that wire is going to go from the left repeater to the laser beam. And then we're going to click repeater runs task, activate laser. Next, we're going to add a wire coming from the second repeater to the laser beam. If I can get it to click, there we go. We're going to run the task, but it's going to deactivate laser. That means it's going to turn it off. So every three seconds, it's going to turn on. 
and every five seconds it's going to turn off. So it's going to run for about two seconds is, is if I'm getting this correct. You can always change that later. Now let's run it to see how it works. There we go. It's turning on. It's turning off. You can pass through it. It's very fast, but you can always change those numbers. Okay, I'm going to stop running it. And now what if you wanted to make more than one laser beam? It's pretty simple. All you have to do is add your next laser beam. You could even, whoops, you could even um, copy the laser beam that you had. Next, you're going to add a wire. You're going to run it from the repeater to the laser beam. And it's going to activate the laser. And you do the same thing on the right and you deactivate the laser. And this one is going to run and then deactivate. And now run it to see how it works. So there they both are. Oh, it took away 10. You can even format that so it takes away more or it takes away less. Oh dear. <laughs> and to do that, you would click on the laser beam. And instead of damage dealt 10, you could set it to whatever you wanted. And that is how you create laser beams in GimKit Creative. Thanks for watching.